We're here at Sandler Hudson Gallery with the artist Yannick Norman uh, with the Modern Dunce series, which is opening um, tonight. Uh, Yannick, can you tell me a little about the show and what it's what's going on? Yes, the, um, the Modern Dunce was basically created from this idea because I'm self-taught that I was kind of like probably not experienced enough and I felt kind of insecure about myself and I just wanted to kind of re-examine where those insecurities kind of came from and then as I kind of like developed the idea it just kind of grew into this larger than life type of thing where I start, I went to um, Radcliffe Bailey's show two years ago okay. which was very instrumental it was like the way how everything you did and I, I saw um, that retrospective of the film at Spellman um, last year so it was kind of all those different elements and reading and what, and what have you I, I just wanted to kind of like to kind of see where I can able to examine myself and why did I call myself a dunce just because I didn't have certain things uh -huh. and I just wanted to kind of like had almost like a whimsical kind of very quirky kind of um, approach approach sure. okay. <laughs> approach to the whole you know dance theme uh -huh. you know and um, and then at the same time I never really in my my work I never really kind of like addressed race mm -hmm. head-on but I, I want to kind of dabble in it and kind of see what it will create and this is this is it <laughs> okay. um, and I know that you have several a uh, couple of collaborators with you on this yes. on the show what what made you bring in other people to, to put the show together? Well, I was kind of very curious to kind of see how like my ideas kind of translate into other mediums. I was always very fascinated with photography and film. And I was just kind of fascinated. And I say, you know what, let me just kind of put it out there. And I put it out there, did a different couple of things, but you know, Jade, Macaulay, and TB Rambo, they were the ones who kind of stuck around, and we were able to create beautiful magic together, you know, because we just, in ter I think we were like psychic twins, uh -huh. like we just kind of like understood, they understood my vision, they understood, they liked the whole idea, and I think in the process, we kind of all, all evolved and grew, because I mean, and, and also at the same time, I mean, we were all very new to this whole kind of thing, me being self-taught and very kind of like, insecure about myself and what have you and very kind of new at this kind of discovered my artistic gift at 21 I never drew from in the womb type uh -huh. of thing you know Jade she's kind of like you know want to kind of do some serious photography um, Tom he always worked on like professional like commercial kind of film so I think everyone kind of like was very young and inexperienced mm -hmm. in this in the project so I mean it, it kind of somehow kind of like related so I think we were all experiencing the same thing in a different ways. Okay. Type of um, and have you, uh, you said it was kind of a, a self-discovery uh, project. Have you, have you grown beyond the dunce and the history of the word and, and yes. that now? Yes, because I think at this point, I think there's like a redefinition of, like, of how I see myself. Because I realize that not because I don't have certain things, therefore, or have characteristics of a dunce, <laughs> doesn't necessarily make me a dunce. That's the reason why I kind of put the modern dunce to kind of like, even there's something intelligent and beautiful and bright and smart about the whole kind of different approach. And you don't have to do like the, the, the traditional route, you know, you know, to kind of understand where you're coming from. And so the sort of, you know, derogatory and racial connotations of dunce, you've pretty much sort of done away with those, is that right? Exactly, exactly, exactly. And I think it's almost almost like a way of freeing, a reemergence, because I think even in terms of like my work, I'm like almost kind of like evolving. I mean, I'm just kind of in a different space in my head and how I kind of see life. And I have like a, I, I dye my hair blonde and <laughs> I don't know, I'm just like, I'm just like in a different space, you know? Wow. So yeah. it's sort of a... Uh, a kind of freedom that you found. Yes, definitely. All right. Definitely. Great. Well, uh, thank you for talking to me. Thank you so much. All right.